Welcome back. There is a sense of urgency surrounding the resettlement of the displaced community in the north due to upcoming monsoon rains. For those still remaining in the camps, the rains spell potential disaster. But for those who have been resettled, the rains herald the beginning of the Maha harvest season, an important time for those engaging in paddy cultivation as their main source of income. Our final story this week takes you to the district of Trincomalee, where a group of recently returned people prepare for a new harvest and a new life. Before the war, the North East used to be a healthy contributor to the national paddy production. During the last two decades, however, as the entire province fell victim to heightened military operations, farmers' organizations collapsed, irrigation systems were damaged, and vast populations were displaced. However, things are gradually looking up. These villagers are on their way to a ceremony which will officially commence their harvest season. Once displaced in camps in the north, they returned to their original villages in Thiriyaya and Suviaru in the Kuchaveli Divisional Secretariat in the Trincomalee district a few weeks ago. As religious leaders in the area give up offerings to the gods, the community looks on, hopeful that this will be a new start to both their lives and their livelihoods. The ceremonies continue under the auspices of both the Chief Minister of the North Eastern Province, Sivanesan Chandrakantan, and Minister of Nation Building, Susantha Punchinilame. Their speeches to the community brim with optimism for the future and stress the need for everyone to get involved in this collective new beginning. The optimism was shared by those involved in the day's ceremonial events. New tractors gifted by the government were tested and sacks of seedlings and fertilizer were distributed amongst the villagers. Still for all, as a community who had undergone so much disruption to their lives, it was unsurprising that some wanted greater assurances that their lives and livelihoods would not be uprooted once again. In the airport to Malavile, Aramba Vaibangal, Matiram, Shaibadil, Nandubudamal, Engale, Turjia, and the Visa to Relevant, the Termar, Manjana, the Aragayim, Aradi Aragayim, become Padima, Tama, Mandikuru. Apatina Catalu, Bohomia Tinova, Wagavan, Karagani, Literary, and Deva, Apatacatu of Tinova, Eva Game, Goitan, Beragani Musanda. Karadar Vishal was in Situino, Baboga Adi, Nagatu, Mata, Kissima Vidyaknami, Ali Hinda, Imakar Avamas in Adukara Dimata, Tinavana, Apatonta, Eva Game, Vau, Okamakada, Vindakan Hilatin, Vau Sada, Dimata, Katukaran, Hilapilla Hitino. Still, their optimism, however cautious, is heartening because for them, resettlement has come at an opportune time. Having lived with the uncertainty of camp life, they have now moved into a more stable environment. Trivandrum Mahavatra Trem, that poor do, Odu Makkal Kanna Sevegalai Arasangam Munnadakkunnadi. Makkal Lai Naale Payan Purigararkal. Anal Trivandrum Mahavatra Trem Irundi Vidambi Irundi Makkal, Mudur Kalakli Irundi. Bownia, Nalamburi, Muhammad and the Mudambir and the Makal Inum Palar Tangrode, Sonder Dangrile, Kudiamata Padavili. Ithanal Anga Makalaki in the Vidamana Nanvayim in the Avirta Dangalinale, 
ஏற்படவில்லை என்று தான் நாங்கள் கூற வேண்டும் இடம்பெயர்ந்த மக்களை உடனடியாக தங்களுடைய சொந்த இடங்களுக்கு இல்லை குடியமர அரசாங்கம் அனுமதிக்க வேண்டும் அப்பொழுதுதான் அரசாங்கம் செய்கின்ற அபிவிருத்தி பணிகளை அவர்களால் பூரணமாக பிரயோசனப்படுத்தி அவர்கள் தங்களுடைய வா வாழ்விலே தங்களுடைய கல்வியிலே பொருளாதாரத்திலே இயல்பு வாழ்க்கையிலே ஏதாவது ஒரு அபிவிருத்தி ஏற்பட முடியும் ஆனால் பெருந்தொகையான மக்கள் தொடர்ந்தும் முகாம்களிலே தடுத்து வைக்கப்படும் பொழுது அரசாங்கத்தினாலே செய்யப்படுகின்ற எந்த விதமான அபிவிருத்தியையும் அந்த மக்கள் கூடுதலாக பிரயோசனப்படுத்த முடியாத ஒரு சூழ்நிலை தான் திருவண்ணாமலை இருக்கின்றது The experience of this community is a glimpse of what could await the rest of the displaced people of the north if resettlement procedures are speeded up as per the government's promise in July. Then once again the rains may hold a promise rather than a threat. <laughs>